What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We're back at it once again in Emerge NYC, this time Montgomery County. We're going to be checking out the new mutual aid trucks or equipment that uh, will be released. And let's see, I think it's going to be patch. I think it's 0.9.2. Yes, 092 is currently on the staging branch. Uh, not sure when that's uh, scheduled to be released but uh, it is on the staging branch. This is a really cool old school Mack truck. Now I'll be the first to tell you, I'm not a, uh, a firefighter expert or a firefighting equipment expert by any means whatsoever. Um, <laughs> I just know they put fires out. That's basically it to me, but I think they're all really cool. All right, we got our, uh, our fire going. It's for a, uh, a structure fire. All right, let's go ahead and roll because they're uh, doing all their things. And uh, we'll get going. Let's get the lights going. Oh, yeah, it's got the uh, old school rotating lights on it. That's cool. And uh, a nice cue siren, too. Sweet. Come on. All right. Uh, I think we're going the right way. You have to watch these roads, right? Like, they're super, they're crazy windy. Once again, using the uh, Logitech wheel with this, as uh, always. Uh, Logitech wheel and pedals. Man, I feel like I'm driving a, uh, a road race. Like, this is like really, really windy. <laughs> really windy and curvy. The house. I'm afraid the house is going to be gone by the time we get there. <laughs> like, that's the unfortunate part about uh, rural fire departments. They work really hard. Uh, they try their best, but the distances and the times to uh, get everyone where they need to be is just, uh, it can be a lot sometimes. Alright, I think we're almost there finally. This should be it right here. Let's see if we see smoke. No smoke whatsoever. Okay. Alright, let's hop out and uh, I guess we'll take a look. I, th I think this is going to be like a false alarm, right? Like, I don't... I hear the uh, fire alarm going off. Oh, this dude's freaking out. His fire alarm is going off and he's here freaking out. Uh, yeah, dude, you can just go right out the door. You're good. Like, nothing's happening. We'll check it out one more time, but I think we're good. Nice house, though. This is a really cool house. Man, this place is done up right. Yeah, I don't know. I can't get it to, uh, I can't get it to reset. I'm hitting E and it's not doing anything. So, uh, we're going to move on from this call and, uh, we'll see what else we can get. All right, we are now on, uh, engine 331. 33-1. For, uh, still water. I keep wanting to say sweet water, but that's because of, uh, Sweetwater, Texas. You know, I've been... Texas, so that's like pops in my mind. But uh, let's head that way. Let's do our slalom here. We'll be there shortly. Here we are. We're coming up. I see it coming up on the map here. Get out of the grass. Oh, it's a barn fire. Oh, no. Okay. And uh, there's no water here as, as well, so that's going to be uh, a little bit of an issue, right? All right, here we are responding with uh, ladder, the new ladder uh, 33 from Stillwater. Nice horn, nice horn. Very, very nice. Ah, this is cool. You know, I've never been out here. I mean, the first day, I've never been on this map a whole lot anyway. That's cool, they've got like that, uh, I don't know what that deal is, like a big water trough. All right, let's get on up here. There we go. Sweet, okay. All right, and finally, we are responding with uh, engine 102 as well. It's going to be a really busy day for uh, Stillwater here in Montgomery County. 
We'll get this truck. Uh, this will round out three of the new trucks. Uh, I think there's one more. I think there's a heavy rescue truck as well. Nice horn. And nice Q siren as well, too. And I think I left one of the other sirens going up here. We'll have to get that in just a second. All right, so we got two engines. Uh, maybe we'll have enough water for this. I don't know. I hope so. All right, let's get uh, let's get going. Let's see if we can get some water on this. Um, I guess we'll start out with this one first, maybe. The really cool thing about these trucks is that uh, they're all different, right? Like each and every one uh, is is a little different. Pull our attack line out. Get it going. I drop you here. Let's go get other end. And uh, can we connect you here? Maybe. Yes. Okay. Sweet. All right. We're good. All right. Let's go ahead and get this. Start putting some water on it. If we just start knocking it down a little bit, I'm afraid we're going to wind up having to pull a tanker in here and all that, which... Like I said, uh, Emergent YC, it, it's, uh, it can be a little daunting as, uh, you know, a one-man team here trying to put everything out. But it is a ton of fun. I really, you know, I really enjoy it. I feel like it really shines in multiplayer. I've done a few multiplayers, I just haven't, uh, I haven't done a lot. I haven't had a chance to. There we go. I think we're actually uh, kind of getting it. Oh, cool. All right. I see our uh, our menu for our uh, our turnout gear and all that stuff. That is uh, very cool. Very cool. Let's go to that one. Nice. Very, very nice. Let's see. Let's change his helmets. Uh, let's go to the black one here. Cool. So, yeah, that's really cool. All right. Let's get our uh, air going here. And, uh, you know, we may not need uh, a tanker with this other truck here, with 102 here. Wow, we're already out of water. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We may uh, we may need another tr uh, truck, a tanker. All right, we got the tanker rolling. We're going to respond with it. Let's see. How do we get up there? Okay, it should just be straight up. Okay. All right, we should be good. Very cool. It's really cool that they added this uh, aspect to it because once again with the rural fire departments like this is something that um, you know in the city fire departments you don't deal with when you got uh, you know hydrants on every corner or wherever uh, tankers oh man she is like tough to steer though wow uh, tankers are just you know are something they generally don't have to deal with that's a little bit loud let's get that off there we go. We'll just do the uh, Q siren. Very nice. Very nice truck. She's a little bit of a beast to drive. That is for sure. It's just tough on these roads, period. Like, these roads are really crazy windy. And when you're driving a fire truck, like, you have this huge urge to uh, just drop the hammer and, and haul butt. All right, we've got the tanker. We're almost on scene. We're almost on scene. Uh, the cool thing about uh, tankers, you know, like I said, you don't see this in a city setting. Um, I'm definitely familiar with them. I've seen them around here. I've seen some really bad major fires before. And uh, I remember uh, back, I guess it's 2016 when the two trains had the head-on collision over in uh, Panhandle, Texas. Uh, they, it, it created like a really, really bad large fire. And so uh, they were having to bring water in and they were literally, they were using the, um, uh, you see them in American Truck Simulator. They're associated with uh, uh, the oil and gas industry. I always call them frack tanks. Uh, they haul water. They look like squares on wheels, like big long squares. And uh, they haul water, so uh, they were using those. Like they had tons and tons of them set up there. Like I bet uh, a dozen of them, at least ten or twelve uh, frack tanks, uh, if that's the correct name for them. And they were using those to uh, put water on the uh, the fire where the train was burning. So uh, it, yeah, it's definitely something you uh, you see around here. Now I've got to uh, 
uh, figure this out. Okay, so we got the drafting pool going. So I'm wondering how do we uh, how do we get? All right, we got our supply line. Uh, can we just? Okay, I guess that's what we do. Maybe we'll see. We'll see what we got going here. Uh, yeah, our water's going up. That's cool. Okay, very cool. Our fire has done uh, kick back up. Your air on. We start putting water on this. Yeah, there's a lot to this operation, a lot to the rural operation, especially when you don't have hydrants available. So, like, it'd be really awesome in a multiplayer setting where uh, you can pull in, um, uh, you know, have someone driving a tanker, supplying water, have someone actually fighting the fire, you know. Uh, there's tons and tons of jobs to do in this game. It really just is. All right, let's get that out. Uh, let's get this dude over here. I'm going to assume that the red uh, cistern looking thing or the red tank down the road would be like some kind of supply that we could tap into. All right, we got that. Uh, let's get this dude over here as well. I think we're making some headway. I think we do. We do have 102 out there as well. He's got water, so. We've got a little bit more left if we uh, if we need it. All right, um, what do we got? Just a little bit more up in the uh, top, and we should be good. Very cool. All right, let's get our mask back off, uh, helmet back on, and uh, let's step outside for a second and see what's going on here. All right, our water, uh, our, yeah, we're full on water, and we've got a ton of water in here too. So yeah, we're like really, really good on water. That reminds me, we just had a, uh, I think they, I think I read where they had a, a hay fire around here not that long ago. I thought I saw that on one of the. Uh, like the emergency uh, notification sites that I belong to on Facebook for a local area. Uh, I want to say that they had said something about a, uh, a hay fire. Like a, a pole barn fire or something like that. Those can be a big deal too, to put that out. Not easy. Not easy being a rural firefighter. Man, dude got a long face. Why such a long face, dude? <laughs> Alright, I think we're, uh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's let the smoke uh, clear out a little bit and we'll see what we have left. All right, yes, I think we're good to go. It looks like it is all out. Uh, the final little bit of smoke is clearing out. So let's go ahead and start putting all our stuff away. Got to put our toys away. There we go. You are returned as well. Had to bust out the tanker this time to uh, get a little extra water supply. Pretty cool that we could do that. It's just a lot to do. It's a lot for one person to do, that's for sure. All right, so anyway, we have the uh, new uh, Engine 33 -1 from uh, Stillwater right here. Very nice looking truck. Don't ask me what kind it is, I couldn't tell you. Leave a comment uh, if you know, let me know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not right there. I'm not, uh, like I said, I'm not a fire truck expert. I really, I have no idea. Uh, also the new uh, Ladder 33 from Stillwater. Very, very nice truck as well. And then the old school Mac uh, engine 102 from Stillwater. So these are really cool. We'll hop over and look at the uh, heavy rescue truck as well, really fast. All right, and uh, the final truck, it's gonna be uh, Stillwater Fire Department uh, Heavy Rescue One. Very nice truck. Let's see what he's got on him. Uh, I imagine it's probably like any of the rescue trucks, um, like on the Manhattan or Brooklyn side. Yeah, pretty much the same. He's got all the, the pretty much the same items from what I can tell. Uh, and our new menu here for changing our turnout gear. Very cool that we can kind of uh, customize our uh, our people, especially uh, you know in a multiplayer settings or a multiplayer setting, uh, you can have your guys customized to stand out a little bit from each other too. So that'd be cool. 
There we go. So you got the red hat going there. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please remember like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave a comment. As always, I really, really been enjoying the comments here lately. You guys have uh, left a lot of great ones, a lot of awesome comments, and I always, always enjoy interacting with you. And with all that said, we will catch you in Montgomery County next time. Peace.